What do you do when your fabric or clothes have holes or worn fibers? Don't worry, they're not ruined and can be repaired. These damaged areas are darned easily and quickly on most sewing machines. For repairing, I recommend having a sewing machine, scissors, thread, and stabilizer. I prefer to use a stick and wash away stabilizer, but you can use another type if your fabric cannot get wet. You'll also need your damaged fabric. Please note this technique works best on woven, non-stretchy fabrics. If you're repairing a hole, you'll need some additional similar weight fabric. First, use your scissors to clean the area around the damaged section. Trim away any loose threads or frayed areas. Cut a piece of fabric from your repair fabric that's larger than the hole. With the damaged fabric wrong side up, place your repair fabric over the hole also wrong side up. If you were to flip the fabric to the right side, the right side of the repair fabric should be showing through. Cut a piece of your stabilizer that's larger than the repair fabric. With a sticky stabilizer, I can simply stick it to the fabric and it should hold everything in place. If you're using a non-sticky stabilizer, you can pin it in place or hold it. The stabilizer will keep your fabric flat and prevent puckering while sewing. At your sewing machine, you'll wanna use a standard straight stitch with a stitch length of either two or 2.5. You can use either an all-purpose thread for most fabrics or a fine weight thread for more delicate fabrics. You can also use a standard sewing machine foot. Place the right side of the fabric under the foot and place the machine needle down in the fabric just outside the damaged area. I'll be sewing my stitches a little outside the hole or damaged area where the fibers of the fabric are still intact. Sew a straight stitch until you're just past your damaged area. Now I'm going to do a reverse stitch to go back to where I started. And ideally you want your stitches to be right next to each other. So it'd be a row right next to that. But if it's hard to do it with the reverse, then it's all right if you go right on top. But now when I'm going forward, I'm gonna slightly alter my fabric. So I go right next to that first stitch. And then I'm going to reverse to go back to where I started from. And then adjust to go right next to that. So you're just basically sewing back and forth, one row right next to the other, until you have the whole damaged area covered in your stitches. Here's what it looks like when finished. If you want the area reinforced even more, you can rotate the fabric 90 degrees and repeat the process so the new stitches are going perpendicular to the first set of stitches. This will make the repaired area slightly thicker and more stiff. It's probably a good idea for heavier repairs on jeans, but with delicate or lightweight fabrics, maybe only do the repair in one direction. After the repair is done, flip to the wrong side and trim away the extra fabric and stabilizer. If you have the wash away stabilizer, you can also wash it away and this should make the area less stiff or you can leave it alone. Definitely use a matching color thread to make the repair less noticeable, but this is a great method for doing a quick and strong repair for blouses, jeans, and home decor like sheets and pillowcases. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPinkCushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.